Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to have a look at Alec Baldwin. Now, Alec Baldwin has been in some hot water, if you will, um, regarding the death of Helena Hutchins, who died on the set of a film he was recording during the pandemic called Rust. Helena was shot um, by a loaded gun and she died on set. Alec Baldwin pulled the trigger. It was an accident. However, they made legal action from um, Miss Hutchins' family and yeah, it's not great for Alec Baldwin. So I have, thought we'd have a look just generally in Alec Baldwin and see if we can pick up anything like that. He's just had his seventh child with his wife, Hilaria, and know he's got children um, from Kim Basinger, I think. Um, so he's just had a child with her and she's also been in a bit of drama regarding she said she was from Spain and she la 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 when she wasn't. Um, so yeah, weird, weirdness. But anyway, moving on from that, Alec Baldwin is a Aries and Helena, Hel Hel Helena. Oh. Baldwin is a Capricorn. I've got tongue twisted today, so I thought we'd have a look at that. But before we begin, if you're new here, hello, thank you for being here. Please consider subscribing and liking this video. If you've been here for a while, like minutes, hours, days, weeks, years, thank you for your support. I really do appreciate you guys being here. It's nice not talking to myself and having some people answer back. So, yeah, thank you for that. And um, we've got the description down below is my social media, so can have a look at that and um etc etc. And yeah, please leave a comment. I'm always interested in what you guys have got to say about the cards and your interpretation of them. If there's anything you want to add, any readings you'd like, anything like that. So, without further ado, let's have a look at Alec Baldwin. Ace of Wands. Okay, there's something new coming up. Now, Mr. Baldwin is an Aries. He's a hot, blooded, fiery kind of man. So there's something setting off. There's something new happening. He's a very passionate kind of guy. Um, hmm. With being an Aries, he's also very headstrong. So let's have a look and see what is crossing him because he wants to start something new, but... He's been frustrated. Things aren't working his way. People are not seeing his, not seeing what he wants to communicate. There's communication problems. People aren't looking in his direction. Um, the cards aren't falling his way, as it were. The tower. Okay, so there might be some carnage happening around him and it does look like he is having um, a tower moment anyway, but yeah, there it is. Um, he's a lot of stress on the outside, a lot of pulling hair and pacing. Um, he'll probably feel like, I know it's meant to be a happy time when a baby's being born, but there's just like chaos because there's the baby and then the stress with the media and the stress with this situation here and then there's a pending lawsuit this guy isn't doing well let's have a look and see what's underneath him the moon in reverse something is coming out that was wanting to be repressed allegedly for entertainment purposes only and that's a concern for him and it's coming gonna, gonna be revealed the moon in reverse is murky waters and things coming out that you don't necessarily want, including there might be some stress, there might be some anger issues that are coming out. Um, yeah, it's it's a murky card to have underneath. He's he's jammed between the moon and the tower. It's not a nice place to be. Six of Cups. Okay, so he's very nostalgic and. Um, it was kind of calm for a while and there was a focus on children. Um, he's very nostalgic for, a, he's very, has been very nostalgic focus and maybe back to his, uh, a happier time in his life with children, childhood, happier memories, but more of a wholesome kind of time. And then it's kind of went thump into more panic. So 
So let me just pull the rest of the cards. There is some... Okay. There is some... He's going to feel some kind of way. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is a kind of... It's fated. He'll feel it's unfair. He'll feel he's got bad luck. He just... it Nothing works for him. It's just... Such kind of like... Fractious news. Complete with the tower. He's just... Mm -mm. Is not going to have a nice time with the Five of Swords. It's taking things away, removing things, legal matters, Four of Swords as well, surrounding it. Every Maybe people are telling him to calm down, stop being so... Um, stop trying to kind of create a situation and manipulate a situation and add to the situation. It feels like he is being advised to zip it and not maybe raise his head above the above the trench line, if you know what I mean. He's just got to kind of like sit down because there is some shady behaviour and he is worried and concerned about something. He could well feel like he's been duped by somebody here. The Two of Swords is a balance of how to go forward. And the High Priestess coming in here. This is all a balance. There's a lot of balance he needs. There's like, there is some good fortune. There is some things coming around. There is a little bit of divinity to him in the long term. But in the short term, he's in for a hell of a rough, he's in for a rough ride over the next few months. And there is kind of like a murkiness that's going to be kind of brought out. Um, mental health wise is not good, not good, um, especially with the moon in reverse. Um, but he seems to like be frustrated in what he's saying and he can't get through to somebody and then the tower and it's just imploding. But he's just, there's like this murkiness, he's just kind of not functioning he feels like there's been like just bad luck and people are trying to calm him down and say take time out but he's not having it he's still trying to get up in the situation he's still trying to resolve the situation like that if we look at hilarious baldwin's um Hil hilarious baldwin's um one we might get a bit more information with the High Priestess at the end. He's going to maybe get a little bit spiritual from this. Balance between dark and light. Let's have a look. Okay, so she feels very much like... This has taken away a lot of pride and a lot of happiness from her. Um, she was very um, proud of everything, but she feels it's like ashamed of something. She feels the gloss has been taken off her. There we go. The Emperor in reverse. Okay. So she really is feeling like the law and um like patriarchal systems so um you're very much looking at like law business um it could well be the machinations of hollywood and um is pressing down on her she does feel like there's a lot kind of going hard and especially hard on Alec and he might this is a sign that as well that as the father figure as the big man he's got a small little empire there with seven kids he is feeling
yeah she wants to move on she just like we want to get away from this we want to keep moving um there has to be better days ahead we need to get away from this situation she really wants to just get over it and get on with it yeah she just wants to step away from all of it in a way and kind of walk on move on and take the family with her if you know what i mean but she really is just having like a loss of a life that maybe was before all of this happened yeah nine of cups in reverse uh this is very much a, a feeling of that's a mess everything's kind of came messy there's a lot of emotion there there's a lot of tears there's a lot of the end of a kind of opulent lifestyle in a way well not the end but you know it's not easy and then she's got the three of wands and that's interesting because that's what was crossing um That's what was crossing on Alec. With the Three of Wands coming up, this could definitely be somebody who's frustrating Alec, but in the near future, it's going to have more of an effect on Hilaria because this is something that is really frustrating her as well. And it's nothing, something that is not working. Some, there's the communication that is not getting there. There seems to be too many people, too many cooks spoil the pot kind of deal. So let's have a look and see what's here. The Queen of Wands. Okay. Now, Helena, hello, 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 I'll get her name right, is a Capricorn and um, that's one, so that's not her. So there's somebody who is trying to help. There's some energy there that's saying, look, I'm going to try and get you through this. This is, it's okay. We'll kind of, it could well be people from a PR kind of agency. It could be crisis management people. Um, it's somebody who's very quick, very good at getting things done. They're very generous um, with their passions, as it were. So they're very good at kind of like getting people motivated, getting people on the right track, telling people how to present themselves. Um, a very warm person. Let's have a look and see what's... Page of Swords as well. Okay, so this could be what's, around, what's surrounding her at the minute as well. Is This is Page of Swords energy and that could be Alec, to be honest, kind of losing his temper a little bit, kind of striving out, like having little kind of outbursts immature outbursts with regarding uh, everything that's coming on which is fair enough when you think you've got a lot of stress on like that it's it's a big thing and then we have the two of swords in the same place so deep guys there's a big decision coming up for these two it's all about balancing which way to take which legal way to take both of them have the two of swords in the potential and then we have the outcome okay Again, wands. So she's going to feel like... She is going to feel kind of attacked and that there's a lot of negativity and there's a lot of negative press and that it's unfair. Well, Alex seems to kind of be in this kind of spiritual kind of woo-woo kind of place between two worlds with the high priestess. There's a definite balancing act and she she's going to feel like very attacked and very... Um, anxious about this a lot of bad communication a lot of communication going backwards and forwards that not necessarily have her best intentions at heart um, but with the two of swords there it's all about kind of balancing and which way will you which 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 way will you tip first and will it be the right side will it where will you move and it's it's all about kind of like weighing up what's worse, the devil or the deep blue sea. Do you know what I mean? It's just... I find that very interesting that that's both of the potentials.
so yeah that's interesting let me know let me put my teeth in thanks for listening guys let me know what you guys think um it'll be interesting to see what happens um with him i think he's in for a rough rough time um he's going to feel like it's not his you know he's going to feel like it's bad luck and he's he's, going to, he's trying to kind of get out of it and people are trying just trying to say look calm down just sit back and let things happen um and he's people are trying to advise him but he he feels frustrated because they're not getting his points while it looks like hilarious trying to just kind of like work with somebody work with like maybe like a pr person um work with somebody who's maybe trying to help the family a little bit more but there's still that kind of angry jabby energy there's there's very much frustration and it's kind of like you're grabbing at the side you're trying to claw your way out of a very on a very slippery slope when you're not making much kind of um he's really fighting it and I think the more he fights it, the tighter the rope is becoming around him from the cards, at least anyway. Um, he just needs to kind of go with the flow with it a bit. But it's interesting about the High Priestess coming out at the end for him and saying there's something very divinity, very kind of like... Hmm. Let me know what you guys think down below and I shall see you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.